the only irritant that I potentially see here between India and Sri Lanka is the fact that India when it signed its peace accord and also pushed the Sri Lankan government to follow the 13th amendment which basically offers more federalism to the Sri Lankan government. So uh, in that case uh, that federalism helped the Tamils to express more rather than being a subject to majoritarian governments that uh, the Sinhala nationalist parties were exercising. So now uh, a primary concern for India is it has been pushing a lot on the 13th amendment for the last uh, two decades or three decades and so and it has continued to express concerns about Tamils being more federal. Uh, and why it is important for Tamils to be more federal even for the stability of Sri Lanka and even for stability of Tamil Nadu and by that stretch stability of India. Uh, so I think India will be concerned only on the 13th amendment part but if Anura Disanayake also shows that there is a solution beyond 13th amendment and Tamils can live with Sinhalas on an equal basis uh, without worrying about their ethnicity, I think India would not have any major issues.